Kenya won the much coveted UN Security Council seat after beating its African rival Djibouti in second round voting in New York on Thursday. Kenya has been elected a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council, defeating Djibouti for a seat designated for African countries. UN member states chose the country as a second round of voting in the General Assembly with 192 ambassadors casting their votes. Number of members present and voting, 191. Required two-thirds majority, 128. Number of votes obtained, Kenya, 129. Djibouti, 62. Having obtained the required two-thirds majority of members present and voting, and the greatest number of votes, Kenya is elected a member of the Security Council for a two-year term, beginning on 1 January 2021. I congratulate Kenya on its election as a member of the Security Council. The voting is process is complete. Thank you. Mark Bichachi, communication strategist, joins us from Kenya. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. What should Africa especially expect with Kenya's emergence? Well, the first thing Africa should expect is Kenya to keep on pushing the Pan-Africanist agenda that President Uhuru Kenyatta has espoused uh, throughout the period of his term, even when he was chair of the AU, and that is expected to continue. You expect the Africa Free Trade um, Agreement to take a center stage as well. And you also expect for Kenya to uh, use that position to try and pacify uh, the region, especially with our neighbors uh, to the north in terms of South Sudan and Somalia towards the east. Uh, Kenya will also try uh, to use this position to pacify uh, its current tensions with Somalia regarding its maritime border. What does this mean uh, for Kenya really? Is it worth it, uh, a non-permanent member just for uh, a two-year tenor? Well, it, it is. It is. And there are many ways to look at it. Um, um, number one, you can look at it in terms of brand recognition, rem, name recognition for a country such as Kenya, uh, coming at a time when countries are not making much news because of COVID-19. So, of course, um, right now, being uh, winning that seat gives Kenya brand recognition, but also the, it's the influence within the region. It's asserting uh, Kenya's dominance as the largest economy and the big brother, essentially, of the Eastern African and nations. It gives the president uh, an opportunity to advance his agenda. And of course, there is the uh, latent benefits of being on the Security Council, and that's simply other countries trying to get you on their side and on the negotiating table and having greater access to diplomatic opportunities. Uh, don't you think it's high time Africa started pushing for permanent membership? Well, of course, and, and, and it's quite ridiculous if you look at the membership of, of, of the permanent members and how uh, no major African country or Latin American country is represented permanently there. It's as if we are lesser states. Africa does need to stand up and in the height of, of um, uh, the civil rights movement in the United States after the murder of George Floyd, we do need to take the, the conversation further and take black representation in general. Uh, to the highest echelons of human society. What are the immediate gains for your country? Oh. Well, the immediate gains, of course, are the smiles on our faces. Uh, that's one, the sense of patriotism. And, you know, that may seem like a small and trivial thing. But as you know, a lot of African countries uh, struggle with the sense of their uh, citizenry belonging to the country. So a, a moment of national pride, a moment of uh, national uh, cohesion and unity, that is the immediate benefit that we have seen. All right, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on the matter. Most welcome.